back and learn uh, the structure of sulfur atom so we already said the alpha sulfur and the beta sulfur that both are going to exist in, as in the form of sh molecule that so basically they have almost synthesized sulfur atoms like 6 to 20 combi combination of 6 to 20 sulfur atom uh, structures have been already synthesized so when i have to speak about uh, your sh molecule as i we have already studied first important thing alpha sulfur that is the this one and the beta sulfur both have s8 molecules present in the structure that how are these s8 molecules for both present the s8 molecule they're going to exist in the form of a puckered ring structure so puckered ring structure or we call it as crown structure okay or crown structure but now when it is forming like i said already 6 to 20 are present isn't it so when it's existing in the form of a 6 molecule that cyclo compound we are going to get a chair form of this so when we are writing a 6 we will draw the chair form of sulfur done let's come back and start so now when i have to draw the pucker ring structure i said s8 isn't it now simple most of the students draw uh, make it a mistake it's nothing don't get confused here s8 now what in the first layer try to make s5 in the first layer five atoms linked and the second layer make s3 done first <coughs> you have to make s5 i said now start from here then one link two i said five isn't it three come down four now five over the first layer is over so s5 is over s3 i have to link now start linking from here down one again two this below this three and start linking that's it s3 is also over now fill in just make circles to represent the sulfur atoms everywhere so this is your alpha sulfur and beta sulfur existing in the form of puckered ring that's the crown form when i have to draw the chair form a simple s6 isn't it now just see try to make first now first make it chair form because it's easy because i've seen different when i was collecting papers i've seen different different shapes of this try to make a chair form one this is the two second uh, the base of the chair and three now take this from here done now exactly the line opposite and join here now first sulfur is six isn't it one sulfur make a circle second sulfur make a circle third sulfur make a circle fourth fifth and sixth this is your chair form of sulfur that is s6 cyclo compound of that sulfur so both the structures please practice it and uh, importantly you have to write the uh, bond length and the bond angle also right now we've seen the types the differences between alpha sulfur and beta sulfur then i've also showed you the structure of the allotrope pucker ring structure and crown structure now let's see this question what is transition temperature so first let us write the definition pick up the uh, uh, conversions so if i have to speak transition temperature is a temperature start your answer like that it is a temp it is a okay it is a temperature at which both the crystalline forms so what are the two crystalline forms one is alpha sulfur and beta sulfur nothing but the rhombic sulfur and the monoclinic sulfur isn't it both the crystalline forms of sulfur so what are the two crystalline forms i said it is rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur coexist coexist that means they are still coexist at equilibrium that is important at equilibrium that means what am i trying to explain let us put that in a box so that the examiner will give you mark immediately now what is that rhombic sulfur i said when i take rhombic sulfur no need to draw in the structure just mention that rhombic sulfur now when you are heating it above a temperature what is the temperature 95.6 rather if we round it off to 96 it will become 96 so if you're heating it to 95.6 degrees centigrade this is going to get converted rhombic sulfur gets converted into monoclinic sulfur okay now suppose if you are taking or you are decreasing the temperature from 95.6 now you are trying to cool it so when the temperature comes down if it is below that 
95.6 suppose if it is now this is heated and now this is cooled when it is cooled at a temperature below 95.6 degree centigrade immediately monoclinic sulfur comes back to rhombic sulfur now this transition of temperature the transition never means the conversion of this so that transition of temperature between rhombic sulfur to monoclinic monoclinic to rhombic sulfur is called transition temperature so both existed at equilibrium both the states exist done so this is your transition temperature